Alrighty folks, uh, we're at Valley Hills Mall and we're gonna be touring this abandoned Sears that closed two years ago. It closed around, um, I think it was March or April of 2020. I hope these guys don't think I'm gonna try to break in. I'm not breaking in, I'm just doing a video like, you know how like, you know, abandoned people, like like people who like to go take abandoned places. Yeah, I'm, I'm deciding to do that too. I did this like back at Big Kmart, but yeah. So this is Sears from Valley Hills Mall. You may recognize the parking lot, but um, I'm not trying to trash past this place. I'm just doing a video, so I'll just mind my own business. Anyway, to the topic. Uh, this, Like I said, this year was closed two years ago, and they still have the sign up. So I'm surprised they didn't take it down yet. The sign is still up there. So I'll just kind of go over here on the side. I thought I heard an alarm going off. So, oh, oh, that's a Dollar Tree shopping cart. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to go in here, but as you can see about, I think it was like last year, I think um, I think when a truck was trying to back into this place, it probably damaged that fence. Also, there's a lot of homeless people living around this area, so you may see something like a Walmart shopping cart, and then there's a Sears shopping cart, and then there's a Target and a um, FedEx Fox shopping cart back there. I think that's from Avis Max or Avis Depot, so... I'm not going to go in there because, once again, I'm going to trash past the place. I'm not going in there. Absolutely not going to take anything from the store. I'm just going to walk around. So, yeah. Again, a Dollar Tree shopping cart. I don't know what's it doing there. So, I thought I heard an alarm going off around this building. So, so there's the uh, merchandise pickup center. Oh, I hear an alarm. So, there's an alarm going off in this building right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but let me go closer. I'm not going to trigger off the sensor. You can hear it. I'm not going to go close, but here. You hear that? Yeah, the alarm's going off, so. I didn't, I, now, I didn't turn on this alarm. This alarm just came up by itself, so. It's like it's like beeping, like, da-da, da-da, da-da. It's beeping like that, so. I don't know if that's normal. Maybe that's just the alarm. Maybe that's just a fire system going off. I don't know. You can probably hear it by this. Yeah, you can hear the alarm's definitely going off. Um, that's the employee room right there. This is where, you, like, when the Sears was, when the Sears used to be open, I think right around this parking lot, like, you usually park here, and then you walk, and you go in there, and then um, whatever you ordered online, then they'll have it ready. So that's why it's called merchandise pickup. So, yeah. Again, I'm surprised they still didn't move the Sears sign. Now I'm not going upstairs, so, yeah. But I don't know why the alarm's going off. It didn't go off like two years ago when this place closed down. So, all right. Now for the big moment you've been waiting for. So, as you can see, if you, I don't know if you can see, but, so this Sears, like I said, this Sears has been closed for two years since, um. It Sears has been closed, so remember when I first did Angry Birds Goes to Valley Hills Mall 1? You may have noticed Chuck was standing around the Sears era. You saw the doors closed, yeah. So, I went to the Sears, like, rem like whoever's been watching my channel since 2017 probably knows this, but I, I came to the Sears, and every time I come here, I'll usually mess with their craftsman wall mirrors. I always usually just pull the handle, like, the rope, so... This was the Sears I filmed at, and I, I did kind of got in trouble for doing that. So right here, right, right here where I'm pointing will usually be where the. Uh, so on Christmas time, they will usually have Santa Claus stuff here, like, like you know the um, uh, floaties that you have outside the Santa Claus. Yeah, they always usually keep these here. Also, this was the area where they had their craftsman tools, and a lot of the lawnmowers were right in this area too. And if you kind of zoom, like way in the back over there. There's an entrance to the mall. There's an entrance to the mall back there. Like, if you turn, like, if you go straight down and you turn right, like, right, then you'll see an entrance to the mall. So, maybe I filmed that entrance, like, two years ago. So, it was, like, where I um, did the end credits to Angry Birds Goes to Valley Hills Mall 4. If you go all the way down there, there's a dead end. And there'll usually be um, a lot of clothes over there. So, yeah. 
apparently in this mall. It says, this location is now permanently closed. We thank you for the privilege, I can't really pronounce that, of servicing this community for over 40 years. Now, yes, there is a button, but I am not gonna press that because I know they lock these doors for a typical reason. Because one, people try breaking into these stores and steal stuff, and two, there's a lot of broken glass at abandoned stores that have been closed more than 10 years, like Rolling Acres Mall and Landmark Mall. So Rolling Acres Mall got turned into a um, Amazon and Landmark Mall at this point is being torn down and demolished for a new hospital. So I know those two malls because I watch YouTube. So and you know what? So maybe since you've been watching my videos since 2018, those of you who've been watching this channel since 2018 may know that there was a Toys R Us up there, Toys R Us of Hickory, and now it's a Gabby's or Gabby's. I think I call it a Gabby's. So there's a Gabby's now, and the Gabby's moved into Toys R Us in uh, 2019 so in 2019 um uh gabby's moving into the toys r us place or that gab you see that gabby sign that's where the original toys r us sign used to be and it had the original classic jeffrey head on it again one last look also notice they took off their um security camera for some reason eh who knows well it better be quick i don't want to get caught but yep and then right there you see this ring. This is where we'll this is where they're gonna usually keep their shopping carts. Again, I think I think I saw one of their shopping carts in that um parking garage over there. So and then the and then I noticed that they have the uh Sears Roebuck. So alright, I'm gonna go walk around this building one more time. Because this mall closes at, at 8 p.m. It's it's 6 p.m. We gotta leave this place by 7. So I've got to hurry it up. And here's the proof if it's 601. Yeah. If you kind of walk, if you kind of walk on this side of the building, you can actually hear the uh, alarm. And I think, yeah, uh, here, let me go over here a little bit. So let me kind of go over here for a little bit. I'm not going to take too long, but you see, you see, uh, hold on. You see where my finger is pointing? That's the alarm that um, goes to this whole building and it's beeping because I think someone's trashed past this place a long time ago. So I, I don't know, I'm not sure. And there is a security man who works at this mall. So he'll probably know the reason, but the guys who used to, the employees that used to work at the Sears known me since I first visited this mall and they were good guys, but it's just so sad that this mall, like this mall is still open, but it's just so sad to see the Sears go. I had lots of great memories at the Sears. I'm just glad that maybe, maybe one day in the future they'll turn this into a, uh, I'm, I'm guessing they'll turn this into a Macy's in the future. This, this mall does not have a Macy's. It has, it originally had Sears, Dillard's, and on the other side of the building, Bilk and Jessa Penny. So maybe they'll turn the Sears into a Macy in the future. Maybe they'll turn this one into a Macy's in the future. I don't know. But for now, this building is currently closed off. So, yeah. Well, and pretty much if we go over here, pretty much. Um, now, I'm not going to go around the building. But if you pretty much go over here, there's like really nothing back there. So, yeah. Well, just hate to say this Sears had to go. I mean, it's been open for a very long time. And I and I actually hear that Bilk in this Sears was the first to open at Valley Hills Mall back in the 1980s. This was the first store with Bilk to open. So, yeah. Well, that's it. Hopefully you love this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell. I always check my channel. Bye.